Hi guys, I was going to send out a, an agenda for Thursday. Um, there's going to be the PC team in the room. Uh, there's also going to be the administration team in the room. But we're also going to have a couple visitors from time to time. And so I wanted to get out the agenda today so you had time to prepare for what it was going to be about. And I thought, let's mix it up a little bit. Let's do a video agenda. And uh, one, it'll save me typing. Two, I've never met a camera I didn't like. And three, it'll give you a little more context of what that day's gonna be look like versus just sending you an agenda. So I'll give you a brief description of each point in that agenda. Uh, and prepare you for the great training we're gonna have on Thursday together, which you're going to make great. Um, so let me talk to you a little bit about um, what that day is going to look like. So what we're trying to do is establish five um, key behaviors that we want to use uh, where appropriate through all of the touch points that have you, we, for those of you who know, we've been working on five non-negotiable client engagement anchors. And so we want to give you the behaviors to use on those calls when you're setting up those different anchors. So Thursday is really going to be about how to conduct those calls. Uh, we're going to talk a lot about um, architecture of a call and science behind a call, but we're not going to talk about a, a text, a script, so to speak, because we want you to be you. So we're going to go through five key anchors in this pro behavioral program. And the first one's going to be about connecting and reassuring. So the first thing we're going to teach you about on that day is how do you truly connect with a client? Uh, what's the science behind it? How do you do it? And how do you reassure the client that everything's going to be okay before the call starts and let them know that you're the quarterback that's on their side? Uh, we're going to talk a lot about non-service related questions and building an authentic conversation platform and then how to reassure that client through the proper verbiage and the proper reassurance. Um, to move that client forward into the next step. The second piece of the agenda is going to be about identifying the home and reviewing the history and claiming value. So, you know, it's one thing to go into a call. It's another thing to go into a call letting the client know that you're on it, you're quarterbacking it, and claiming value for what you've done in the past to show them there's a repeatable behavior that's going to happen in the future. It reduces their anxiety about the service issue they're currently having and preps for a positive call and a positive platform versus an escalation. We're going to teach you the science behind that and some of the skills. Third step we're going to teach you about is identifying the specifics to that service call and how to propose solutions. And in this step, we're going to dive a little deeper into inquiry versus advocacy. We're going to talk a lot about paraphrasing. You know, and paraphrasing is really letting the client know that you've heard them and that you've identified all the trigger points. And I'm going to teach you the two levels of inquiry questions um, and what uh, and when those inquiry questions should be asked. We're going to talk a lot about open-ended versus closed-ended questions focus a lot on the open-ended, and then introduce the close-ended when we talk about the advocacy piece versus the inquiry piece. Uh, fourth piece we're gonna talk about is coordinating the execution of the appointment plan. Again, so, you know, next steps, what does that look like for the client now that we know both the emotional and functional uh, service issues? Uh, and I speak to the emotional because, you know, a lot of times it's about recognizing what that service issue is doing to their life, uh, acknowledging it, showing urgency around it. We're going to speak a lot to that. But once we've got that again, and the third step, moving to the fourth step is coordinating the actual appointment. Uh, and fifth step is confirming everything. And again, we're going to use a lot of paraphrasing skills to show the customer that we truly heard what they're asking for and ensure they're bought into the solution and are confirming next steps so we're all on the same page. So, we talk a lot about that on Thursday, uh, using this platform to give you the agenda via video, um, because we're gonna use a lot of video as well. So we're gonna do some exercises, we're gonna have some games, uh, we're gonna have some competition, uh, look forward to the family feud piece. Um, and, we're, and we're really just gonna learn together. Uh, we're gonna have a great day of setting up some expected behavior. So when we roll out Punchless Manager, that's gonna be our tool to stay on top and proactively service our clients versus reactively. We've got a behavioral skill set to guide us through that process. So you can't do the process until you do the behaviors. So behaviors start on Thursday. I hope you enjoyed this four minute video because you're going to get nine hours of me on Thursday. I promise you to make it as fun and as interactive as I can. So there's the agenda guys. Um, you will see the uh, agenda again at Thursday morning at the presentation. But here's a video agenda. Hope you liked it. If you have any feedback, any questions, let me know. But come prepared to have fun, engage, in a no-pressure, safe learning environment on Thursday. Cheers, gang. Talk to you then.